We're kicking things off with our story of inspiration. Let's meet a local woman who hopes to be an example of why exercise is important when it comes to heart health. Deb Grenard loves to hike. I've found that the more I've been outside, the more I enjoy being outside. So I enjoy being out there, you know, in the nature and my body feels better. But several years ago, she found herself struggling to keep up. I was finding it was harder. I was shorter of breath. Um, I was having a bit of chest pain and people that were much older than I was were just, you know, hiking right beyond me. So that started to get concerning. I thought, well, you know, this, there's something going on here and I need to get this checked out. Deb went to her doctors for cardiac testing and learned that what she was dealing with was coronary microvascular disease. Coronary microvascular disease is disease of the small vessels that is more common in women, actually. These are the small vessels within the heart that dive into the heart muscle and supply the heart muscle. What happens is that they are narrowed and there's not enough blood supply getting to the heart. The heart is a muscle and it just has to be fed like every other muscle. And if you overwork a muscle and you don't get enough oxygen to your muscle, you're going to get pain. Sometimes it's commonly referred to as the elephant sitting on your chest. Mine wasn't quite the elephant, but there was definitely pressure that I could feel. To treat symptoms, that's the most important thing. Anytime you have chest pain, especially with activity, or chest pain that occurs at rest with sweating and nausea, that needs to be checked out. First, Dr. Mendelssohn worked with Deb to find medications to help her. The medications we use in the setting of microvascular disease can open up the arteries and improve blood flow. If a woman has improved blood flow, she's going to have less symptoms of pain. I carry my medication with me even as I walk, and I medicate at that time when I'm feeling the symptoms. Next, Deb had to keep up a regular exercise routine. Exercise really made a difference. I walk that lakefront as many times a week as I can manage. It's, it's a beautiful walk and I try to just go ahead and schedule it in my day. So with exercise, what happens is whether you have blockages in a big artery or in a small artery, it causes people to grow more arteries and improve the blood supply. It causes the heart to become more efficient and that way there's not as much extraction even of the muscles themselves of oxygen uh, with every heartbeat. The final step for Deb was making some major dietary changes. I uh, stopped eating quite as much meat, uh, especially red meat, and much more vegetables, legumes, nuts. It was just feeding my, my body in a better way. We like patients to avoid meat and cheese because Increasing the cholesterol just adds, and the fat in the blood particularly, adds just to the whole problem. All these changes have helped Deb get back on the hiking trail. I refuse to let it beat me. I'm doing a lot better. I can walk much farther, so that has improved. So I can do more, I actually can do more. I sleep better. I would say that some of the fatigue that I, that I was feeling before, I don't have anymore. She is extremely proactive about her health. She's an ideal patient. She understands that she reports symptoms. Educate yourself, take care of yourself, recognize what these symptoms are, and do everything you can because there are a lot of things that you can do to improve your life and how you feel. This is the face of chronic heart disease. I have limitations but I'm out there pushing it and doing everything that I can do. It's, it, I don't want it to stop me from doing those things.